crash at the back and a Cannondale rider involved in that too. Giant uh, Shimano. Is that Kittle? It is. Oh, and that is a statement of how disappointed he is. Marcel Kittle, many people's favourite for today's stage, has crashed out of contention just over two and a half kilometres, just under two and a half kilometres. It's hurt in a big way. But uh, Shimano, is that Kittle? It is. Oh, and that is a statement of how disappointed he is. Gruppetto della maglia rosa c'è anche Rafa Omaica, l'uomo con la maglia giallo blu della Tinkov Saxo. Che sta reagendo molto bene dopo la debacle subita ieri. Chissà come sarà contento quel tifoso che abbiamo visto nell'inquadratura da dietro sulla destra perché a 1 a 1 si è preso una pacca o uno schiaffo o un mezzo pugno da tutti i corridori che, sono, che gli sono passati accanto proprio perché insomma eccolo là, guarda, eh, questo pulsa. pacco alla maglia, boom, Water è il primo ma ce n'era stato anche un altro che gli ha portato via lo schiaffo. Mi ha preso gli ah, occhiali per appostare. Bravo Puls. <ride> And he must have got some uh, word of encouragement there from the team car. Can't quite make his mind up right now. Oh, oh dear. He's not having shot. a nice day. Very good shot. Because that's the commissaire who's seen what's going on. He get it. He's thrown two bottles at the commissaire. That hit him. Yeah, that was a direct shot that they could get in trouble for that you get a serious fine for that uh Cipollini obviously having a hard time right now there's another one of the commentators coming back here he's trying to get across to his team car and he's not happy about that motorbike then, coming watch. through the gap here oh i think that was a that bullseye was a bullseye pretty good shot for a man on the run in shades of tom Steele's a few years ago when he hit poor old fred moncassin in the finish of a tour de france tom was kicked out the tour of course for that be a brave commissaire that throws out mario Cipollini, but it's uh, it could happen Mario's rejoined Jan Kersipu. Both can speak to each other here. And this is the catch. Oh, and what's happened up the road there? Motorbike gone down or a rider? It's a motorbike. Motorbike went down. And what on earth happened there? One of the uh, one of the referees, I think, went down. I think it was the one that just got look, caught the bottle. He was moving clear. We'll see. <laughs> Oh! 
Cavendish slips over. Bit of fun and games here on the podium. <laughs> well, he's so excited, he's having a good time. <laughs> One swig of champagne and he falls over. Now have a look here, it's over on the right hand side, you can see a rider coming up there very quickly there in the yellow, it's a rider from Team Tinkoff, then all of a sudden he just touches his brakes there and he's gone down, and then once the crash and the noise, it's, it's like an ice rink for these riders, they just cannot keep upright. I very rarely see anything like this at all. Well, it's almost like ballet dancing in slow motion here as the riders going down, just sliding on the foam of those left before them. And because of that, you see, Ryder just clouded the bike there and the bike hits him on the head. And, I'll tell you. Uh, well... There's the, there's the Malia Rosa just coming up there. Not a, not a nice way to end your first day in the Malia Rosa. Yes, he will keep <laughs> his jersey, but it'll be a pretty ripped one. Well, it may not be because the rider just sliding so far here. A little bit of road rash or burn, that's about it. Um, but uh, there's Julian Dean, sagged onto the right of the barriers, but managed to hold himself upright. That's Popovich right in the front there, number 111. And there's Gazzelli coming through, yeah. Bit of chaos at the end of a stage. Anyway, there's no chaos about who won the stage because it was Alessandro. is also that the winner of the Tour de France speaks a bit of the language, which is actually no problem for Bradley when he's in the mood. This is the mood he was in yesterday. Demain, il y a le contrôle à montre. Normalement, vous avez gagné ce Tour de France sauf accident. Mais je suppose que pour vous, c'est très important de le gagner pour montrer aussi que vous êtes le plus fort malgré ce qui se dit sur ce Tour de France. C'est pourquoi j'ai quitté l'arrivée là juste maintenant pour faire les déchauffer et tout ça parce que ça, c'est la performance. Et euh, c'est mieux de faire ça que rester 30 minutes là-bas pour parler de le, le météo 3, je sais pas, mais c'est... Euh, donc euh, voilà, on a, on a déjà, dès qu'on a, on a terminé l'étape, on a concentré demain, sur demain, déjà. Aujourd'hui, il y avait le président de la République française, ah, François ça, Hollande, oui, qui ouais. était là aujourd'hui. Je ne savais pas qui c'était. <rire> Il y a un mois, oui, vous... c'était un, un, quelqu'un de Love Story ou toi, je sais pas. <rire> il y a un mois, vous m'avez dit si je gagne le Tour de France sur les Champs Élysées, je fais un break dance avec François Hollande. Vous êtes prêt Vous êtes entraîné Parce que là, vous. Non, vous avez... Chirac, j'ai dit. Non, vous avez dit François Hollande. Ah oui. Ben voilà, il est où là Il Entrez est parti. Là. <rire> ouais. Ben montrez-nous. <rire> pas le mec de Love Story, ou non, non <rire> Ok. Merci beaucoup, voilà, Brad. <rire>